What up, what up, what up, y'all? It's your boy, Moan T, and it's time for that five-minute cigar review. The five-minute cigar review. You know why I call it five-minute cigar review? Because I try my best to keep these reviews within around about, give or take a few seconds, five minutes. Make it quick and easy so that you can use these quick, simple, direct-to-the-point videos for your, your cigar decision-making process when you're out there looking for cigars and you want to choose something. You want something quick and easy. Hey, let me look at a review on this cigar. Where can I go? Oh, five-minute cigar review, and I can find out what I need to know quickly. So, with that being said, let's get into it. Today's special guest is the Room 101 10th Anniversary. Can you see that? It's a 10th, there it is, 10th Anniversary. I don't know if you can see it. A little bit of a white out from the light coming out over there. But it's the 10th Anniversary Room 101 from Senor, or not Senor, but Mr., let's call him Senor, Matt Booth. And Mr. Matt Booth, you've done it again. You've created a very good cigar. So good, I'm giving you three and three quarters. You know what? Screw that. I'm going to give you four fingers, baby. Four fingers because it is a good cigar. Not a lot of information on it, unfortunately. I looked up all kind of stuff, and I found out that the only thing that is available as far as the contents is that the wrapper is Nicaraguan. The wrapper is Nicaraguan, but everything else is a closely held secret by Mr. Matt Booth. And I thought about it. I should have asked him when I did my interview here a little bit ago, what's in the cigar? But I didn't think about it until afterwards. Uh, not that he would have given me the secrets, but who knows? Maybe he would have been like, you know what? You got a small channel. It's not like the information going to get out there a lot. I'm going to tell you and your followers only the secret. But didn't ask, so doesn't matter. Uh, the other thing I thought to ask him later was, how involved in he? How involved is he in the cigar making process? Does he actually come up with the blends, or does he have somebody to do that? So from now on, I have to remember when I do my interviews to ask those people how involved they are in the blending. But anyway, I've rambled on a little bit about uh, what I should do, and now I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do and give you a five-minute cigar review. It's actually going to be less because I've wasted two minutes giving you BS. Good cigar, really good build, you can see, fairly even on that burn, really nice. Aesthetically, it's a good looking cigar. I mean, it's just, it's a pretty color, it's got a nice feel to it, nice sheen, I like it, and the draw is almost perfect. And I say almost, because I don't even know what a perfect draw is, but this one, it's got, I mean, it's like the just the perfect amount of flow as you're inhaling. Uh-oh, I'm out. I've been talking so much. I get. I went out. Let's light that baby up again. Do that a little bit up. Mm. Get it going. Here we go. It should be good to go. Mmm. There we go. That wasted some time. But anyway, as you can see, it's got that good draw. Just enough resistance for me to feel like I'm drawing in, but not so loose that um, I feel like I'm sucking in air. You know what I mean? So, uh, good draw, good feel, good build. Um, the flavors that I'm getting are more like a leather, a little bit of earth, and sweet. As I was reading up on some stuff that mentioned cocoa and chocolate, I don't taste that, but I do taste something sweet. Uh, cocoa and coffee, I'm sorry. Chocolate and coffee is what I, what I heard, or read, but I don't taste that. I taste more of a, like a sweet. It's almost like just, like... A sugar content but not sugar I can't, I can't really explain it it's just sweet but the leather and the earth are there it's a very good blend a very good not like overly complex but it makes you the, the flavors are fairly distinct I should say you can taste each one just a little leaving it on the palate and you really do it like that especially on the sides of the tongue I really get that earthy leathery and then sort of on the tip or the middle I'm starting to feel that that sweetness and I don't know if that's how the tongue works but that's how it felt to me um I got a few seconds here left almost done I'm gonna go over five minutes because I got to show you guys what I'm dealing with here in Denver Colorado I got to get up from my little throne as you can see and walk over to the door because I want y'all to see what I am dealing with here in Denver Colorado Y'all see that? Blizzard conditions, y'all. I got blizzard conditions here in Denver. Hopefully that didn't wipe you out too much. But blizzard conditions. 
It is March something. I don't even know what day it is. I think it's like March 18th or March 19th. And we got blizzard conditions here in Denver, Colorado. And that's what I'm dealing with. Uh, but, you know, um, with all this coronavirus stuff going on and so many businesses closed, my job stays open all the time. So I got to go to work tonight. And you may ask, what do you do, Mo? None of your business. I ain't going to tell you. So that's it. Y'all will see me soon. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick five and a half minute cigar review and a lot of other BS. Don't forget, I'm doing it for you. And if I didn't mention, don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to share. And don't forget to leave your comments. Share this video with other people who want that quick, direct. I really can't say direct when I think about it because I spent a little bit of time BSing. But uh, if you want that quick review, share this with your boys, with your girls, with anybody. Y'all will see me soon. Peace out. Sorry, six-minute review.